Hi, welcome to Talking Books and Stuff, the program that talks all about books and writing and stuff. Here's your host, Dennis Rimmer. Hey there, it's another edition of Talking Books and Writing and Stuff, and today we're talking about books and writing and lots of other stuff with Lindsay Stevenson um, coming out of uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. We're right now in uh, northwest Washington State, but that's okay. We go around the world with this interesting uh, concept here. Lindsay, how are things in Moose Jaw today? <laughs> they are wonderful. That's great. Lindsay Stevenson is here. She has a book out. It's right in front of me. It's called My Mama is a Superhero. But before we get into that, Lindsay, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Uh, I'm a mom, a wife, an author, and an advocate for accessibility and inclusion for everybody. And why is that important to you? Uh, it's important to me because I myself have a physical disability and use a wheelchair for uh, mobility within the community. And you want everybody to sort of follow along, right? Absolutely. And, uh, the story that we have is based on a conversation I had with my daughter and just her perspective on uh, disability. So we just wanted to share her unique perspective uh, and give everybody kind of a different view of disability. And my mama is a superhero, and that's uh, sort of the book is based on your, it's from your daughter's viewpoint. So tell us again how this came about. So it was based on a bedtime conversation I had with my daughter. Uh, she had mentioned uh, having a conversation with a friend of hers at school and just explaining to her that my disability was more of a superpower than a limitation <laughs> and how I use my wheelchair as a cool tool as a result of that. <laughs> and uh, from there you had the book, and it's got uh, nifty illustrations. Who did the illustrations? Our illustrator is actually out of Bulgaria. Oh. Her name is Sasha Steneva. So we did everything um, online over the computer through our uh, publisher, and we're able to uh, put it all together. So it was a super interesting process here on our end, just in regards to I've never met Sasha in person. That's right. But with the internet these days, you can do everything, including work from home, So, which I think is Absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you're an advocate for disability people. Now, that's involved with your job, right? You don't have to mention the employer, but uh, that's kind of what you do on the job as well? Yes, I have a job that um, helps individuals that have been injured. And now the illustrations come from Bulgaria. You come from Moose Jaw. You met through the publisher. So tell us about uh, the publishing process. I understand it's from Amazon, but how does that all work? Do you send the text to Amazon, or, or how does that whole thing work? Um, so I got in touch with our publisher uh, after I had the idea and uh, kind of the meat and potatoes of the story uh, put together, and then... We fine-tuned it and went through the process of selecting our illustrator, and then she helped us um, get it up into the Amazon platform. And as well, we're on uh, Barnes & Noble online and soon to be in Chapters and in Indigo online, as well as our local store here in Saskatchewan. Now, did you find this uh, process through Amazon uh, quite easy to follow, or is it uh, more difficult than it sounds? It was quite easy uh, on my end in regards to just setting up an account and making sure all of the information uh, was loaded in there. It's easy to make adaptations as we need. Um, so, so far, it's been fantastic. And the response that we've gotten from it has been overwhelming on Amazon. It's such a large platform. So we've actually been able to sell uh, internationally. That's wonderful. And um, do you have any other future uh, book plans in the works? Uh, I started another book. It, it's still based on uh, kind of our our perspective of things um, with me in my wheelchair. But yes, we have started a, a second edition for 
for my mama is a superhero, so I'm not sure exactly launch date or details in regards. It's not completely finished yet, but keep your eyes peeled because there will be something that will come out later, I'm sure. That's great. So uh, what, a follow-up. That's wonderful. What is it like being a superhero? <laughs> well, I have to say that uh, Ella is the true superhero. At three and a half, she was able to explain accessibility and diversity to a friend in a way that she can best understand. So I'm just a proud mama. Like, it's to tell her story. That's wonderful. You're also an advocate for travel accessibility. Uh, what exactly does that mean? I um, was working previously on a project um, making a publication for accessibility or advocating accessibility in the travel industry and just providing a perspective um, from an actual individual with a physical disability um, to a destination to provide my perspective on accessibility and um, provide a guide for other individuals to use when selecting their destination of choice. That's great. And future plans, like you said, another book is in the works. So how do we get the book again? Maybe you can repeat uh, where we can find it. Absolutely. So My Mama is a Superhero is available on Amazon um, in all of their areas. So currently we've sold in Canada, the U.S., and the U.K. Um, It is also available on Barnes & Noble online as well as uh, a few select retailers here in Saskatchewan. So, Prairie Heart Mobility, um, the Gravelberg Pharmacy, and uh, there will be, or we're in the works, we're talking to uh, some other companies as well. So, I will keep everybody updated if you follow me on social media as to the launch dates for other opportunities to pick it up as well. And that's Lindsay Stevenson, which is L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S-O-N. And uh, Absolutely. They, they can find you online, right? Yes, online. I have my own website. It's just lindsaycstevenson.com. Perfect. Lindsay, thank you very much for talking with us today. And um, hey, good luck in the future. And maybe we'll talk again when the next project arrives. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Dennis. Take care. Thank you for visiting with us today. This is Talking Books and Stuff with Dennis Rimmer. Contact him at dennis at talkingbooks.tk. Thank you. And may all the good news be yours. Oh, and don't forget to check out his book, The Great Canadian Notebook, available across Canada and at Amazon.ca.